Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to Manufactio Nuclear Edition. Last episode, we started working on trying to create a little bit of lithium and boron, and the thing I completely spaced out on, which was the lithia salt. Eh, this stuff right here. We need that to be able to make things in the future. So, few changes have happened. Not a whole lot. I did a kind of a, did a little reorganization on the what I'm considering the bus now. So we've got everything stacked up nicely and kind of just run down the center of the base and i did kind of rework this so that it actually kind of hung out these things are incredibly cheap to make so i just went ahead and stuck in a few more of them so the changes that i made over here is that we are now uh core tier two well tier two cores in all of the algae farms as well as this uh this alloy smelter this this alloy furnace these things are real slow um it's actually the bottleneck at this point as far as how things are going i think we're we're roughly about the speed at which some of this is going on. These are working wonderfully. So we did do a little bit of change. And I said, I'm just going to keep kind of slowly organizing and making things look the way that I like it. But uh, we got about, well, we got everything over here sorted. The lithium dust is at least filling up a dispenser at this point. So we've got as much lithium dust as this is going to hold. And I am now going to start working on just producing nothing but the lithium salt. Now, the reason why we made those changes is for the energy cell thingies. Those dudes right there, these energy cells. I need more lithium salt than I need the lithium dust, so I'd rather it just produce a whole bunch of lithium dust or lithium salt so that we can just do what we need to do. So that's the only thing. Those are the two things that are required out of those. So we're just looking at this, and the reason why I'm looking at this is, again, it's part of yellow science, and it's also part of these lithium batteries, which you used to make other things those are how you make really large power storages and stuff so uh, if we need to go faster we're going to probably either upgrade all of these using the next upgrade tier that is right here or we'll go upwards and start making more of these so I'm I've already kind of eh, contemplated already whether or not I'm going to just go ahead and trade it out with a regular old IE blast furnace because a blast furnace is considerably faster than this thing is and it doesn't use near as much power but we do have the ability to work with modules and I think probably once we crack open where are they this next line, when we crack this next line open, uh, we will start building modules. We need to start looking at doing modules because some of this stuff is really going to help us keep some of these massive kind of lines of stuff down to single machines. So um, we'll be able to kind of think about that as far as how we do. Plus some of these other machines like these will be we, the, the energy, especially the efficiency ones, we can start actually maybe thinking about putting some of those together very soon just to start saving on power because that efficiency module is in a way of playing with the way the power system works. So normal factory, you will not find me using efficiency, but since we have kind of limited power production, um, we'll, we'll, we'll probably look at doing that. I know we did in the other pack and it did help quite a bit on some things. So today, what I want to do is I want to start concentrating on a couple of things. The first thing I want to go do is I want to go unlock that module so that I can start working on it in between episodes. The module, the module, not the module, the thing. Is it this one? These core tier upgrades are, are very, 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 very powerful in what we can do with these. Again, it's allowing us to take some of these machines and instead of building more of them, just upgrading in place and getting more capacity out of what's there. So that will turn the system on and this will require us to do all of this. I'm not going to do this anything other than what we're already doing. Basically what I'm going to do with this system is I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna throw a whole bunch of stuff together into a bunch of parts, and then I'm just gonna to toss it into a hand, into an assembler and make them you know, a dozen or 20 at a time. So we're gonna carefully upgrade things as we need to upgrade things. So I just wanted to make sure that I had that set. Uh, we will look at those eventually. But today what I wanna do, at least today what I wanna do past that, is I'm starting to again look at yellow science. So yellow science is going to be a mess that I want to just already start producing some of the stuff that we need to produce. So a big thing that we can knock out right now is titanium. 
we have a lot of titanium. We have plenty of stuff to do titanium, and titanium is going to be kind of fun to deal with. It's also going to allow us to get you rid of some of this extra chlorine that we've got, as well as the coke dust and the titanium stuff. So what we're going to do today is we're going to hook up the base with a titanium production system that will produce titanium sponge. That titanium sponge will then be produced into probably a blast furnace just because we have everything we need to do this. Um, these are great. They're just really slow and a blast furnace is going to be fast enough for what we need to do. Then we're going to take those titanium ingots. We're going to turn them into plates because the plates are going to be necessary for low density structures. Low density structures, again, as we saw, are part of the yellow space science thingies. However, low density structures, I believe, are also going to be part of producing asteroid miners and asteroid miners and i think that's pretty much it well i mean there's there's other things that we need to do but we need to start looking at making titanium and i want to make sure that by the end of the day we have titanium gears ingots and plates done so most of that stuff's all ready to do up here i think we've already got all that stuff all i got to do is just toss a couple of more of those down and actually i think up here on both sides there's a gear maker right there that's not being used and there's another gear i think there's a plate press over that's not being used and we can just for that matter just stick one right here so and I should have plenty of these laying around as far as special stuff. So the first thing we need to do is we need to build a chemical plant. And then I think we'll go ahead and just build a blast furnace in. Problem is I've already used all of this area up. I probably should just go ahead and make something else up there. It's, it's specifically going to be to use up that stuff. Now, the other problem is titanium. Titanium dust is going to be needed to make these blue catalysts. And blue catalysts are going to be needed for carbon fibers or polyethylene, which I don't think I'd ever even bother wasting that to make polyethylene, considering there's several other ways of doing it. But the carbon fibers are things that we may or may not want to use to make armor plating with. The later on tier core upgrades, the portal frames, the ender rift cores and uh, well whatever that's going to be plus those plus that plus that so and and of course this so far um i was concerned about the amount of carbon fiber that we're carbon fiber excuse me titanium that we currently have i think i'm not going to sweat that because i think eventually we're going to be able to get to a point where we can pick up and get those from the mo the drone driving hub mo <laughs> these guys the the the, 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 the little system here that will get us a little bit. Um, I'm getting so much titanium just from digging out from underneath the base, plus mining up just random stuff all over the place that I'm not really concerned about it. The thing is, is we're going to need that mainly, and I mean mainly for this. This is where those are going to go into. So all of those, all the titanium, or at least the majority of the titanium that we're probably going to produce is going to go into making yellow science i think because there's not a whole lot of anything else i mean aside from that it's it's pretty much every bit of it's going to go into yellow science so we're going to have a hard time i think keeping up with that regardless but let's get to work on making that happen that way i can do something else with that little uh that dude right here and then any amount of the titanium here not this one uh this any amount of blue catalyst that we think we need to make as far as carbon fibers we'll just figure that out because i don't really see us needing i understand why this is cool and we'll we'll get to it eventually once we get it unlocked um but it's a long ways away for right, right now and the portal frame sure 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 and of course core tier upgrades again it's just little things like that that if that's all we're going to ever need it for, then I need to be making ingots out of this stuff, basically, is what I'm saying. So ingots, plates, and gears today, hopefully for titanium. So what we need to do is we need to get some chemical plants going. And yay, I turned the weather back on, if you guys hadn't noticed. So now it's going to rain again. Um, it's because it's part of Minecraft, and it's supposed to do the thing. Um, I turned the rain back on because it was it's just an easier way of making sure that that tree farm is functioning correctly because they tend to eat up a lot more water if you don't let it rain on them once in a while. So we get to listen to that. Uh, anyhow, we need to get our chemical plant going, which I put all of the stuff away. And I think we still have some stuff. 
in here. I have one chemical plant. I need to make a blast furnace. Really, seriously. Where is my stuff? Uh, let me get all these things sorted, and then we can go on. Alrighty, so did a little bit of rework here. We're going to take that cache that's full of titanium dust and put it into the system up here. But we're since we're doing ore production over here, this is ore production, ore processing, ore production. So, and it's on this side because generally the majority of the titanium that we're getting is coming from the iron or some, I don't remember what it is. Doesn't really matter. We're going to build it up top over there. So I've adjusted this for the second and then we should be able to make this work. So let's go up here. Uh, copper lead third floor. Then we can run up here and see what we get. So I think we'll do something similar like that. We'll start on this side and we'll just kind of build what we need to build. We do need to build a chemical plant and a blast brick, reinforced blast brick, that kind of dude right here. So let's go ahead and crack that down. And where is my thing? Did I grab the chemical plant thingy? Yes, I did. Good. You bang. And then you need to rotate. And I'm going to put you kind of in the middle of this area so that we have lots of room to play with. I think. Trying to make sure I can see this. Is that good? I think I'm going to move you over one. And like I said, kind of in the center. There. Yes? Okay. And then what we're going to do is the blast furnace, I think, is going to be on the opposite side of it. So this may be a little awkward, but we'll do this, and then I'm going to do this dude over here. Something kind of like, maybe even try to somewhat center it on the other one, but... Nope, nope. Oh, uh, where is my hoppas? All right, whack that with a hammer, put down the preheaters. And away we go there. So we did make a small change. And what is episode or two ago, we made it. We started making a bunch of solid fuel. So now both of these sides right here, just these two right here, are currently on solid fuel. We're still using Coke to do the, uh, the mixed stuff over there because mainly I just wanted to make sure we weren't overrunning what we were doing. But I think we'll, uh, we'll see how these work. So that means this one's going to get some of that stuff as it works. And you, I guess, are going to get put down right there. Now, I got to do some piping so we can do, well, the recipe for this titanium. Titanium is interesting because it requires chlorine, titanium dust, and coke dust to make 24 titanium sponge. Now, that seems to be a really fast, yeah, that's a really 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 fast process however we're not getting a lot of this stuff right now so i think what we're going to work on is we're just going to let this kind of work its way slowly through a couple of these things and see what we get so we're going to need to do get up here and just do this right now while you're thinking about it you need to be the sponge is that what it is this this and then we also are going to need solid fuel so that this can just burn for days. Solid fuel, okay. And then over here, is it going to require me to do titanium? Titanium sponge is made in a chemical plant with no thing, so it doesn't need one of those. So we're going to need one, two, you need this and coke dust, which I'm going to have to bring over because we don't have any here. 
there. And then you're going to produce the titanium sponge here, which will deliver around. So I'll probably bring this up and over. I'm going to have to build a new bus, I think, because I don't think there's any real access up here. Uh, go downstairs and see what you see, because we're going to have to run pipe, too. Give me pipe, 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 water. Oh, uh, yeah, wait a minute. Before you get excited, um, there's one right there, right? Yeah, we'll do that one. Give me one of these things real fast. I'm trying to remember. Is chlorine one of the nasty ones that doesn't want to listen? That's my toolbox. Give me pipe. And we'll deal with those in a minute. Fluid router, one of these. We should be able to hook it like right there. And then what that'll do is go... I'm already doing this somewhere else, but there's an input right here that you can just kind of hook the pipe to. So we need to go, what is that? East? Can I do chlorine right there? Or am I going to have to go get a thing? I forget. Excellent. All right, cool. So we can run that like straight up this. Yeah, like here. No. There. That right next to this one. So, oh, you know, I, I love how the, the hitbox on this pipe is so small. Okay, did you fill up? All right, nice. So power, I'm just kind of looking through some of this before we start getting excited about how we want to do these because um, the this is going to live, this cache is going to live up here somewhere, probably like right, I don't even think it's going to live up here. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in and let it get, you know, just used up. And then as things come in from downstairs, uh, we will we will make things work because it is slowly trickling in. We're using the tin system back here since it's not being used. The, the tin production system back there is actually the one that's doing all the processing to make this stuff. So, uh, yeah, wiring, 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 wiring. Let me, let me, let me think about how I want to wire this and then I will get back with you guys. Okay, I think we got everything on the ground floor set up and produced, and I think everything up here should be ready to go. So all we need to do is code in some of this stuff. So I already did all that. I already did all that. So we should, why do I have this in my hand? I have no idea. You're going to do some of that because we're getting a little bit of it here and there. The coke dust is in. Everything should be working. We should have the chlorine in here. All right, nice. So uh, I'm going to stick a provider logistics pipe right there for right now so that it can start working through that 16,000 titanium dust. And that will start producing. Should. Fairly quickly, too. And those will get shoved down and around over into this. And this should produce reasonably quickly some titanium ingots that will be delivered down to the front and back over to their section into that little dropper right there. So let's go back down front here and we'll watch it for a second. Uh, oil processing. Oil. Er. Earl. Earl. Ah, uh, something. Down here. All right. Now let's see. What can we do? What, what do we got? We should be seeing stuff show up in here. Very Good, I want my label maker so we can say titanium ingot. And we can keep an eye on things. Yes, beautiful, cool. Yeah, that looks like it's going to do the work. Now, we need to go over here to our other processing facility area. And I need to add in two more things, three more things into this mess this is getting tall this is getting ridiculous but it is 
doing some stuff for us. So we're going to need to move a couple of boxes up and then add a couple of more boxes on top, or at least one more. So we're going to produce iron, pl iron plates, titanium plates and titanium gears, and I'm going to have to bring the titanium ingots over here. So I need to move those three boxes up and place in some stuff underneath so that we can work on that. So let me get to that. And then that should be getting titanium ingots in it. Okay, good. So we got everybody moved up. We've got titanium ingots in it again and again. It's another wonderful, nice, stormy thing. It's the reason why I turned the weather off in Minecraft, because it's almost pointless to keep it usable anymore, because it just doesn't ever not stop raining, especially when you can't sleep. So it doesn't rain in Factorio, or at least it doesn't rain in most Factorio games that I play. So we're going to go ahead and borrow, or I should say borrow. We're going to go ahead and move that down here. So I should have the ability to make a couple of these. So thank you very much. Uh, I don't want that one. And you rotate to that direction, I believe, is how we had these set up. No. Controllers are where? It's right like that, right? It's been a while since we've made one of these. Yes, excellent. And then we can just pass power through it. You're stocked up nicely. Okay. And then... I think what I did was I did something silly up here, but we can for sure kind of copy it a little bit, make it look a little pretty, since this is going to be a reasonably quick, easy episode to do, because I'm going to start knocking out some of this stuff. We need to start working on getting a lot of these little things going, because when we do finally get to the point where we're playing with yellow science, it's going to get a lot, of, it's going to be painful for one. We're going to have, you know, we're going to get into productivity probably fairly soon as well, but, um, we need to kind of think about getting some of that processing done now. So you, my friend, are going to be making plates. And I do not want to stack that many of those up. So we're going to do just this this time. I don't want to stack any more than that. I understand that the majority of what we're going to probably see is going to be made mainly into just the, the, the low density structures. Low density structures are incredibly slow to process and they're going to be something that we're going to have to work on how we're going to make them anyway. And then the gate, the, the rest of this is going to go over here. Yes, I'm going to double up. We're not going to feed pipes and plates back to the other side. So uh, you can go to work. Do that. And then I think you... You, you have a chest on you. I don't want this. No, 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 no. These were supposed to be for iron and whatnot, but I think we're actually at a process where we're fast enough to do what we need to do with this kind of thing anyway. If we need to do anything faster, we can start looking at rolling machines and other stuff. So lovely, lovely weather. Isn't it fun to sit here and do this kind of stuff? There we go. We should be getting a few things out of that. And if I say the same thing over here... I mean, I guess we could save on... Well, it still won't matter because it'll just... I don't know. I'm still kind of fiddling around with the ideas how we want to work with this. And we are going to have to sit down and actually start playing with the other stuff from logistics pipes fairly soon. I'm starting to have to see the need for certain parts of that system or at least that mod in doing what we're doing with some of the stuff that's going on. So let's put a bunch of our junk away. And I don't know why I have you. And I don't think I'm going to want anything else at this point. So we'll pick our boxes up. And we are now producing titanium, titanium ingots, titanium plates, and titanium gears. So let's go down to the workshop. And walk over here, and I should, that's, that's why we have this out, so we can label those boxes. So we need, what is this? This is the plates. And 
this should be the gears right there. Very cool, very good, very nice. All right. Um, I, I may sooner or later go ahead and get the, um, the cobalt steel plates being made into... This is why I shut the weather off. Um, into the gears as well. However, I'm just kind of once again on the fence of that. There really is no big, massive, continuous use for them. So I've just been kind of just taking stuff out of that one and running up there and putting it in one of the machines. So I think for right now, we're going to call it. It's uh, We should be able to get a few things done. Next episode, I think we're going to start playing around with even more of this kind of thing. So we're, we have other things that we need to unlock. And I know that Yellow is quite a ways away from us. We do need to kind of look at lubricants. We do need to kind of look this direction as well as coolants. We're going to need to start unlocking some of this stuff over here. I think the next big one is actually going to be productivity because I there's some things in productivity I want for sure as far as production, blue research, productivity, prediction, whatever. It, it's a mix of various things. So the interesting thing about this is we have two different ways to go with this. One is a mix of blue science and one is a mix of all of the current sciences available. And so we're going to get productivity, randomization, destruction gadget, efficiency module threes, fabricators. I'm really interested in getting the fabricators opened up. The marker quarries would make my life a lot easier as far as downstairs. And there's just a couple other little things. The yellow is kind of the reason why we're working towards yellow is because yellow is going to provide us with some fun stuff eventually and things that we probably need to start looking at. But I think there's a couple of things in productivity we're going to go hard for fairly soon and then we're going to work right after getting towards yellow and getting it running. I just wanted to make sure that that was processing because, well, that, that's an awful lot of stuff that that needs to work through, and I want it to just go ahead and work through things. So we're going to keep making science, and probably next time we're going to work on some more stuff. So that'll work for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.